we've been having some crazy rain the last couple of days which we've needed because we're in drought and because of all the fires but today's the day we're going to finish the bike so i'm going to be riding home in the rain by the looks of things it's, oh, it's so early i can't do i can't do early come on coffee kick in for me baby <laughs> it's definitely gonna rain um but luckily i have my my saint pants um, i have my fuel pants i don't know how waterproof they are but we'll find out and i'm gonna be wearing my fuel jacket and i've got also i'll show you this This is from Floyd and Co. One of those rain wind blocker things. So I'm gonna take that with me just in case. Uh, I'm gonna get Johnny to take my bag back in the car. So I'm gonna be getting an Uber to his place from here, which is about 20 minutes away. And then we're gonna drive there because it's in Brookvale, which is about an hour. It's over the Harbour Bridge. It's a fair way. And there's no train station nearby. So this is the only way. Cheers. Boop. <laughs> Man, that was so quick. Yeah, just anyway, yeah. There's the train. That's good. <laughs> Hello. So like on the on the radio in, um, in the Uber, they said that there's like like a severe weather warning this afternoon and stuff. And there's like <laughs> torrential rain. Um, winds and uh, I think they mentioned hail so I gotta <laughs> and then like and then I realized as well that we just like literally demolished the Murray guard <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it looks good. of the bash plate black to mellow it, mellow it out of it. Amazing, amazing. Alrighty, so today is the day for the Kellerman, the Kellerman indicators to be wired up. Johnny's gonna be just making up the bracket for the front indicators. I'm gonna try to go under there and just have them down and hanging out a little bit like that. It's so small, so I have to just make sure that they're visible to the other drivers out there. And then I'll be wiring up the indicators. The one will be there and the other one on the other side. I'll be wiring those up. And then we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. And then I'll be riding home in the, in the rain, which hopefully holds off till later this afternoon, but I don't think it will. Cool. All right, let's do this. Neatly run underneath. Nice and snug behind these poles. Nice and um, nice and safe. And yeah, so that's it. Just some double sided tape or something down, just to hold that down. And these are for the light, the uh, number plate light. That'll be under here somewhere. That's this Earth and um, Parker supply. The back end is Dunsky. Tidy air. Now it's time to do the front. So we're pulling the headlight, uh, the indicators off, extending the uh, extending the harness so it runs up here nicely, and it'll just plug in the harness somewhere. Johnny just made up for it. 
this. We just turn, we just flip these the other way around. So they used to be the, um, where the mirrors used to go on. So yeah, flip them upside down, bang, awesome mounting point for the indicators. And then around the back, super tidy. So all I have to do is just put a, a light up there for the number plate, which is done. Time to ride home in the rain. All done, ready to, ready to rock it. How do you feel about it, bro? Feel good about it? Yeah, happy with it, man. Looks good. Sick. It's good seeing it on, like, on the ground now. Yeah, hey? definitely. He did all the pipes as well a little while back. Okay, I'm going to kick it before it starts raining again. Good luck. Right. Yeah, thanks, bro. I'll do a little rain dance for you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, there we should just go. I'm going to do it. See you, bro. Here we go. Good luck. Thanks, bro. Now that was probably the second wettest ride I've ever been on in my life. I wasn't complaining because it was during that period that we had those crazy bushfires in Sydney and Australia in general. We were the hottest country for a while there. So having that rain, just knowing that it was, you know, just helping us out that much, I just enjoyed the ride home. Obviously I didn't film afterwards because I was just so ridiculously wet. I was just like, I'm not doing it. I was just, I was just a mess. So although I got absolutely smashed, actually no, I didn't. I was wearing the Floating Co. Rollers windbreaker waterproof jacket thing, and that that thing kept me dry. I was actually super impressed with that. Floating Co. In for the win. I feel so dry under this. It's relatively uh, just a little bit see through down the middle there, but I feel this thing was awesome around the back of the neck as well. Just keeping everything nice and dry and cozy. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. The Quinn Design helmet that I was wearing, that kept me dry, no leaks anywhere. And obviously like the pants, they're, they're not waterproof, so the water just ran straight down my leg, straight into my boots. Just filled my boots up with water, wrung my socks out, it was a pretty hectic time. So it's actually three months on now, I've had the bash plate and the tail tidy and everything like that done for three months and I've been riding with it and it's been such a pleasure. I love the way it's been looking every time I walk up to it. Checking my bike out, it looks so much better without that big bulky tail end, that big plastic mofo that sticks in the back there. Obviously, it's a lot more wet and dusty and everything like that, but ah, stuff it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm all about the looks. I'm all about the looks, baby. And it looks ridiculous. If only you could see it. Do you want to see it? I'll show you. Come on, let's go. Yeah! There it is. There she is, all done and nice. So that's the old, there's the bash plate. She's been holding in there well. It's been copping and beating all rocks and everything, just smashing it. Good times, good days. It's doing its job. I've been asked, I've been asked a lot about this, so I might do another little separate boy on this. Let me show you guys how I mounted it up and everything, where it mounts up and how that all works there. The tail tidy. It's been holding up fine, you know, everything works just as it should. And now the, I noticed you couldn't really see that well, but these are the brackets that Johnny made up. Just mounted this mirror, I found this mirror on eBay, it's like 40 bucks. And I just mounted it upside down, we turned around, you can see the little up arrows pointing that way around now. So there were the original mounts there, so we just turned them upside down. Let's turn this little bad boy on, shall we? So you can see what the vibe is, I turn the hazards on. There we go. So yeah, so they, they are they are still hyper flashing. Um, I think I'll just stick some resistors in there eventually. They're not too fast, they're not too bad, they don't annoy me. Getting the road worthy and everything, they might be like, it's blinking a little too fast. Stick some resistors in there, fix that issue up, no problem. They sit under there nicely, they hide, and they're damn bright. And around the back. And I just bought a cheapy little LED strip. It was like 20 bucks on eBay. I'll put the link in the description. 
The link in the description will be for the Kellermans as well. So check it all out. If you can on buying them, they're just high quality, German made. Incredible, incredible stuff. I am frothing. So now I just gotta work out what I wanna do with the headlight. I'm still just working on some designs and I'm still just like, I don't know. I'm not sure if I just wanna, you know, get rid of it completely and have like two, two just like sitting down below each other. Or just go with like a yellow lens or something. I don't know, it's all, it's all still stewing up here. It's been so good just seeing what you've had in your mind just come to life, like slowly, slowly, slowly. And it, like it has like everything that I've wanted, it has, it has just, it has just come together so nicely. I'm so pumped. Thanks Johnny, you're an absolute legend. If you want to hit him up, check him out, do whatever, talk to him, he's a great guy. He will build you pretty much anything. So hit him up, Kensai underscore giant on Instagram. Yeah, I think that's it. All right guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, drop me a little like and a, and a subscribe as well if you want to see more of this stuff weekly. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rob Hamilton. You've been watching Motorfeels. Bye-bye.